ladies and gentlemen, the YouTube citizens. Y'all know who this is. This is your boy, Dash the True and Fun. No! <laughs> AKA the new Jay Gatsby, AKA the new Stephen A. Smith. Now then, we are a little over a week away from Thanksgiving, which means we are also a little over a week away from Black Friday. Now, normally I am a guy who is not really all about Black Friday, but I do take part in it. You know, I'm not, not the same thing. I do not camp out Wednesday and then miss all the Thanksgiving camping. No, I don't do that crap. Um, but I do take part, especially if it's um, like if I see it as an advantage. There's a word I'm looking for. It's not the event is not it, not convenient, but like I guess work in my favor, I guess. So, and the question is how to beat Black Friday or how to come out of Black Friday with a W with a win. Well, there's a number of steps or a number of uh, tips that you need to do to beat you know Black Friday, come out with a W. First and foremost, you need to come up with a strategy as far as what exactly do you want to get doing black friday so if it's a certain item now obviously since this is a uh, a music slash gaming channel we're gonna stay for the video games so for example you're looking for a specific uh a specific system ps4 xbox one wii u 3ds xl the new one or vita or whatever then you need to strategize as far as which store sells them and look and see if they have a black friday deal that is geared toward that system that you want. So you need to, uh, that's what the first thing you need to do. Second thing you need to do is you got to do your research. You got to look and see, okay, who's selling the item that you want and at what price? So, and then you can figure out, okay, who got the cheaper deal, who got the better deal, and then go from there. Now, remember, with some of these deals, some of them are Thursday only, some of them are Friday only, and some of them are all weekend, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you got to be careful. You got to read every fine print. That's another tip. Read every fine print. Because if you walk into the store Friday afternoon, type of stuff, yeah, I want this uh, Xbox One system that cost me 300 bucks. I get a coupon with that. They go look at you like, Ashley, no, that deal ended yesterday. And then you're going to be out of luck. So you need to do your research, proper research. Don't have as read it. Don't scam and scam it. Read everything and make sure you understand everything. And another thing you need to do, obviously, you need to find which um whichever store you decided to get the item from. You need to figure out one which one's closest to you, and two which one is the least popular. So. You need again, so whichever one's the least popular, your best chance of getting that item would be at that store. Also, you want you may want to consider your safety because it depends on what you're trying to get. There are some people who will try who will literally try to rob you of wherever it is you're getting. You know, I, I heard something out of Vegas one Black Friday. Somebody bought a, a big screen TV and some dude robbed him, stole his car with the TV inside. Really want the TV, not the car, but the TV. But seeing how the TV was in the car. Dude just said, give me your car keys, and he took off with the car, and thus took off with the TV. It was crazy. So you may want to consider, you know, the safest one. So, like, if there's one by a police station, or if you know of a store that you plan on going, and there's a lot of cops there, you may want to go to that one, as opposed to another one where there's hardly any there or whatever. So, yeah, and the last tip, and this one is it's kind of hard to get or hard to accomplish or hard to utilize. But I'll say anyway, that's connections. So in my case, seeing how I'm a person who used to work at GameStop, I got connections. So if you now the GameStop uh, Black Friday ad is out now. However, it's not out on Black uh, GameStop's official site. You have to look it up. And there's another site, I think it's called BFA or something like that, that actually have it. Now, everything in the ad is not everything that will be on sale. So, for example, wherever's going to get, there may be like 25 items in the ad that's going to be on sale for Black Friday. Well, GameStop will actually have more than 25 things on sale for Black Friday. So, but because of those connections, I can hit somebody up. And because just about every, just about every season um, employee there I know, 
I can say, yo, is this on sale? Is that on sale? Because it's down the app and you know how things are and blah, blah, blah. So if you know somebody like that who works at GameStop, Best Buy, Walmart, Target, Toys R Us, uh, Myers, maybe Sears or, or whatever, you can hit them up. Like, it's best to hit them up like that Sunday, Monday, say, yeah, I need you to do me a favor. I need to, to see if a blank is on sale. Don't say what deals you have outside the ad because they won't do it. So you need to make sure you are specific in determining what item that you want to know if it's on sale or not. So yeah, there you go with that. And also, don't tell the whole world. Like, because then your connection won't be won't tell you for next year or won't hook you up next year. So yeah, keep that information to yourself. So... And also, if you tell the whole world, that worsens the chances of you with getting that item. So, yeah, don't don't tell the whole world. Now, with that out of the way, let me, I did some research on some things that, you know, a number of you may be interested in. So, for example, the PS4 system. So, right now, the, the hottest deal is the Uncharted bundle, where you get the system uh, and the Uncharted uh, collection or whatever for 300 bucks. Now, everybody's doing it. I don't know about Best Buy. I didn't see it on Best Buy's ad. But everybody's doing it. But the best deal is Myers. Myers got the you know the system and a fifty dollar coupon for three hundred bucks, whereas everybody else got the system for three hundred. So it's like if you're a Myers shopper, or even if you're not, you should go to Myers and get your system from there because you can come and the coupon you got to use it on the next transaction or the next time you come back. So you just come back and say, hey, I want Madden or Two K or something that just came out like uh, Star Wars, Call of Duty. And then instead of paying sixty three fifty nine for the game, all you gotta do is to pay thirteen fifty nine for the game because you got a coupon. So yeah, Maya is the best bet if you want the PS four. They got the better deal. Now for the Xbox One, it depends on which version you want. If you want just a standard version, then the Gears of War is one of your best bet. Now there's three stores, I think. Yeah, three stores that have the best deal. And the number one store is Target. So you get the game, the system with the game, the Gears of War edition, whatever, and a sixty dollar gift card for three hundred. Uh, followed by, you know, behind them is Meyer again with the $50 coupon and you get that system for 300 And then in third place, you can go to Walmart that will have the system, the game, and a $30 gift card for 300 Now, you could also go to Best Buy and for 50 bucks more, check this out, get the Tomb Raider 1 terabyte edition with a free controller So for 350 So what that means is with that Guild of War bundle I mentioned, you only get... 500 uh, gigabytes with uh, this version however you are getting double that Tomb Raider instead of Gears of War and a second controller all for 50 bucks more 350 so if you're all about them terabytes like I am that's the better deal but the best deal to some degree I've seen is again from Best Buy where you get a Samsung 40 inch LED 1080p uh, TV with an Xbox One, 500 gigabytes, and it comes with a game, the Lego Movie, all for 500. I'm like a 40 inch TV and the Xbox One for 500. Wow, that's really good there. And also, they got that Gears of War one for um, 300 as well. Now, the Wii U is that one's a tie between. Actually, I have to go to Maya again because you get the Wii U system with Smash and Splatoon. It's a Smash Splatoon bundle, and you get a $30 coupon for 250. After that, you can either go to Target or Walmart. They have it for two fifty. The likes of Toys R Us and GameStop have it for two eighty. Best Buy, they don't even mention it. Now, as far as the new three DS, ooh, there's I had to say Walmart. Walmart got everybody beat. Cause you get a game which is Super Mario three D Land and the, the new three DS XL for one thirty. Uh, Myers got got it for one eighty, but you get a twenty dollar coupon, but no game. Everybody else got it for 180, no game. And then of course Vita, that's GameStop all day. Nobody else doing anything. Now, as far as the games, I'm gonna try to wrap this up real quick. As far as the games themselves, um, uh, I would probably say let's start off with Madden 16. It, it come down to either Walmart, uh, I believe I saw GameStop. Yeah, Walmart, GameStop, or Best Buy. Walmart have it for 27. Best Buy GameStop would have it for 30. So it's like, okay, whatever. Um, again, two, NBA 2K, that's either Walmart or Best Buy. 
WWE 2K, in this case, this is Best Buy, but I check if Walmart as well. Because if they have NBA 2K for 27, there's a good chance they have um WWE 2K for 27. So yeah, I'll check with them. If not, then Best Buy all day. Moving on. Uh FIFA. That's either Walmart or Best Buy. Grand Theft Auto 5. That's Walmart all day. They got that joint for 25. And that and not and that's not the previous system. That's the new joint. Three uh not 360. Xbox One and P4. So you want Walmart for that one. Need for speed? That one is between Target and Best Buy. They got those for 35 each. Again, check with Walmart. They could have it for less. Now, the Assassin's Creed, the newest one, which is Syndicate. GameStop have it at the full price, but you'll get Unity for free, which normally is 30 bucks. But if you're trying to save some money, don't care about Unity. Again, Walmart, Best Buy, and Target, they have it for 35 uh, as far as Metal Gear Solid, um, the second part, Metal Gear Solid 5 Part 2, I guess that's what I'm calling it. Your best bet for that one is either Walmart or Best Buy. They got it for 35 Uh, yeah. And then after that is Batman. Now, I think Batman got it, I mean, GameStop got it for 25 I don't remember. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. But I know Walmart and Best Buy and Target got it for 25 So you go to either one of those. Now, as far as the richer... That's Walmart and Best Buy. They got that for $25. Mortal Kombat. Now, the regular version, that's, uh, you again, Walmart, Best Buy, and Target. They got it for $25. But if you want the limited edition, go to GameStop. They got it for half off, $50. So, yeah, there you go with that. And then you got Destiny, the legendary edition. Uh, your best bet is either Walmart or Target. They got it for $35. All right, so then we move on down to Smash, Super Smash Brothers. Best Buy got it for $35. With Target, they got it at the full price, which is $60, but you get like a free $15 gift card. So, yeah, Best Buy with that one. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, you want Target. Target, the only one doing anything with that, that and Halo 5, giving away free $15 gift cards. Nobody else is doing anything with those. Now, as far as the Xbox Live and the uh, PlayStation Plus, um... Everybody doing $15 on the Xbox Live, which is crappy. Walmart, however, doing it for twelve fifty. So you're probably wondering, okay, what's the difference? Well, if you're somebody like me and want to get a at least a year's worth, 15 times 4 is 60 bucks. So a whole year is 60. I'm like, wait a minute. You could just get uh one year for 60 instead of paying for four, three months for 60. That's stupid. As opposed to Walmart, if you get four of them, the twelve fifty joints. You only pay 50 for a whole year. So now you add an option to either, okay, I'm going to just save $10, or I can pay an extra $12.50, or a case an extra $2.50 for a whole year and three months extra. You can't go wrong with that. And Walmart, the only one who do anything with the PlayStation Plus as well, $10 for three months. Yeah, I'm taking advantage of both of those. I'm going to Walmart for those. Now, as far as the controllers, the P4 and the Xbox One, um, the black ones, your best bet is either Myers. Best Buy or Walmart. And for the uh the black PlayStation 4 controller or GameStop. They all sell them for 40. Uh again, the Xbox One, the black one, again, Walmart, Best Buy, and Meyer for 40. However, this is the part that makes no sense. GameStop got the limited edition right on um, Xbox One controller for 45. So that makes no sense. But if you want that limited edition joint, get that one. Uh, the Sony headset, you want Best Buy, they will have it for 60 or Maya, they have it for 60 as well. The PlayStation I, you want Best Buy, they will have it for 30 so, And the only reason why you should want to go to Toys R Us, I wouldn't recommend going to Toys R Us for anything. Or even for um, is the Sega Genesis or the old Atari system, they they got that for 30 bucks each. But then again, so's the Maya, so Toys R Us strikes out here. So yeah, there you go. And there's some other stuff there that's out there like Forza and um, NHL. You know, I'm just giving y'all some games and what to look forward to if y'all think about it. So yeah, as you can see, the game been over. And yeah, that's the video right here, man. So I'm going to call it Chris. Y'all know what this is. This is the new Jay Gatsby, a.k.a. Jim Ryder II saying peace out, y'all. By the Kyoto Tower, Volume 3, Rise of Sun on trueinfront.bandcamp.com. And check out the podcast. Yeah. You want to... I'm going to go to that Sydney right? Opera House. Oh, you want to go to Sydney Opera House? Yeah. And play Kyoto Hour there?
don't know that let me do that there. I want to wear one of those Phantom of the Opera masks with the cape and dressed up, though. <laughs> oh, you could go ahead and make the Sydney hour. Nah. Yeah. I like it. I'm going to take it. Uh, no, I... Yeah, I wasn't playing on it. <laughs> but, um, um, Kill Hour sounds like it could be a good freaking drama show, like... 